The Prophet Joseph Smith, Sidney Rigdon, Edward Partridge, and others went to Missouri. They were very happy to go because they wanted to learn more about building the city of Zion. They went part of the way in a boat. When they got to Missouri, Joseph wanted to walk. He knew the land of Missouri was sacred, and he wanted to see it. Joseph and his friends walked about 300 miles across Missouri to Jackson County. A few days after Joseph Smith and his friends arrived in Jackson County, the saints from New York arrived there. The missionaries from Kirtland also arrived in Jackson County. Joseph Smith and Bishop Edward Partridge told the people what to do. Some were to buy land in Missouri. Oliver Cowdery and William W. Phelps were to start schools. They were also to choose and write books for children to read in school. Joseph wanted to know where the city of Zion should be built. He prayed to Heavenly Father, and his prayer was answered. The Lord revealed that the city of Zion would be located in Jackson County, Missouri. He also revealed that a temple would be built in Independence, a town in Jackson County. The Lord also promised that those who keep His commandments and endure trials faithfully will be crowned with glory. The Lord told the saints in Missouri that they should obey the laws of the land. They should do many good things without being told. The Lord also promised that when people repent, He will no longer remember their sins. The Lord said that Sidney Rigdon should dedicate the land. Sidney Rigdon asked the saints if they received the land with thankful hearts and if they promised to keep the commandments. We do, they answered. Then Sidney Rigdon prayed and dedicated the land. The next day, Joseph Smith, Oliver Cowdery, Sidney Rigdon, and other leaders held a meeting at a special place in Independence. They read the scriptures and prayed. Then Joseph Smith dedicated the place for the building of a temple. The next day, all the saints in Missouri went to a conference. They were filled with the Holy Ghost, and they rejoiced. Joseph told them that God would bless them if they were faithful. A few days later, Jesus gave Joseph a revelation about the Sabbath day, or Sunday. Jesus said Sunday is his holy day. On Sunday, we should do things to help us remember him. We should rest from our work. We should go to church and take the sacrament. We should repent of our sins. We should fast and pray. We should be thankful for all our blessings. Saints who do these things will have all the good things they need. They will be happy, they will have peace, and they will receive eternal